Hey everyone, just to say I'm recording this in the car because my wife says having me in the house all day is making her wanna punch herself in the face. <laughs> These last few weeks have been like watching that World War Z movie. I just want it to end. And no Hollywood star's gonna come to our rescue because we found out that with no script, they're just attractive twats. Imagine there's no heaven. There has been some good news since coronavirus air quality has massively improved around the world. Turns out it was old people walking about causing all the pollution. Most Brits still aren't wearing face masks. The general feeling being we'd rather die than look like bellends. At least all that panic buying toilet paper has stopped. How did that even start? Did one bloke with the shits go to Costco and everyone was like, he must have the answer. Every newspaper's been full of depressing headlines every day, except the Daily Mail, which is over the moon because no foreigners are allowed in at the moment. <laughs> the government is aiming to test 100,000 people a day and they remain just 100,000 short. Boris caught the virus. I don't know how the hell that happened. I was at a hospital the other night where I think there were, a few, there were actually a few coronavirus uh, patients and I shook hands with everybody. People were genuinely worried he might not make it, particularly with his underlying health condition of being an utter knobhead. <laughs> Boris then recorded a heartfelt message to the nation saying, quote, I want to thank the NHS, the police, the teachers and all services we cut. Donald Trump still hasn't got it, despite Mike Pence spitting in his coffee every morning. <laughs> I've been watching Trump's press conferences. Right, and then I see the disinfectant where it knocks it out in a minute. It turns out hosting The Apprentice isn't adequate training for steering America through a humanitarian crisis. We are so lucky Boris hosted Have I Got News For You four times, which is really coming in handy now. Michael Gove got it, confirming the virus can now spread from human to slug. Oh, <laughs> mm, splendid. After Prince Charles got it, the Queen was extremely worried about Prince Andrew as so many children carry the virus. Apparently, Andrew's now hunkered down in Pizza Express Woking, worried how he's gonna know if he's got the virus because he just can't sweat. I have a peculiar medical condition, which is that I don't sweat. I'm keeping an eye on my 86-year-old neighbor, making sure he doesn't go for a second bit of exercise. To be fair, I haven't seen him since he got back from Milan a couple of weeks ago. Ooh, my cough's so bad. Dude, my tour's been rescheduled. You don't hear me banging on about it. <laughs>